I enjoy watching movies, Marvel, Disney, and others. But one day, our English teacher, hi, you're one of the best teacher, made us watch the movie The Last Emperor. So here are my thoughts. The Last Emperor is a movie directed by Bernardo Bertolucci, a director who's born in Parma, Italy. He's actually a good director. He decided to make a movie that portrays the life of Puyi, an emperor at the Forbidden City. Actually, the last emperor of China of the Qing Dynasty. Boom! The facts! It is a drama movie. It is set at a prison in China. The POV is third person because we get to see the life of Puyi. So the movie begins in 1950 where Puyi is at prison in China. He tries to commit suicide but failed. Flashback time! At the age of three, Puyi is declared to be the emperor of the Forbidden City by the Empress Dowager. Cool name, by the way. Arma is with him, but is taken away later. And he is accompanied by his brother, Puchie. After the revolution, Puyi finds out that he now only rules the Forbidden City, which made him sad and now he's depressed and turns into Puyi Eilish. The end. Just kidding, there comes Mr. Johnston, Puyi's tutor. He gave him information about the outside world. 1924, all of the occupants are ordered to leave the Forbidden City. Puyi and his wife settled in Tianjin, where he was recognized as Henry. Fact time! Bernardo Bertolucci garnered many awards with this film, including Academy Award for Director for the film The Last Emperor. Mr. Johnston returned to the West and Puyi visited Tokyo. After his trip, he is required to sign an edict appointing a new prime minister. Sadly, Wang Jung is sent away. 1945 Japan gave up to the Americans. Puyi was captured by Russian troops. Returning now, present time. He learns that he needs to take care of his personal needs all by himself. After some time, he is released to become a gar gardener. He visited the forbidden city and perishes. I like the movie. It is very emotional. It shows its age, like the camera. But the production and set is amazing. The soundtrack is amazing. It shows the culture and other stuff. But some scenes are quite boring. The acting is on point, the script is very well written, and the interactions of the characters are very good. So kudos to the scriptwriter, actors, and the director. I also like the other scenes that are funny, like when an argument sparked on Puchie and Puyi, and Puyi orders Bigfoot to drink the ink to prove that he's the emperor which is very funny and very scary at the same time because of the fact that Bigfoot is drinking ink. I hope it's not real ink. The soundtrack is amazing, but sometimes it is repetitive and it is used on many scenes, which is very annoying at some times. One minor complaint is some character didn't develop, like the prison mate of Puyi and Puchie. I would recommend the movie for ed educational and entertainment. The movie gives men lessons. For example, you need to be independent, take care of yourself in your own, and be ready for the real world. For a movie that is released three decades ago, it is very good for its time. I would give this a 9 out of 10 for the good script and good acting but the scenes that are quite boring and some camera works this is the last emperor thanks for watching bye